I just love recording recap videos at 1 a.m. Oh well, it's a weekend. I can live with it. Um, so the Jets have just finished about 10 minutes ago their um, second game of the Young Stars Tournament in Penticton, British Columbia, which explains why the game ended at 1 a.m. Um, but they did manage to completely annihilate the Oilers by a score of 7 to 2. Both Oilers games or both Oilers goals came really in garbage time. You know, it was 6 nothing Jets when they scored their first goal. It was it was a blowout. So let's take a quick look. Um, my player of the game is going to be Scott Kosmichuk. Two goals. He looked very good. He was everywhere on the ice. He was. I think he might have the potential to be a Brad Marchand type of player, a guy who can get in your face and annoy the bejesus out of you, but a guy who can score a decent chunk of goals. Um, as for the play of the game. Nick Catan's opening goal. That was absolutely filthy. Um, if anyone ever uploads it to YouTube, I'll try and stick the link down there in the description. Uh, because it was just that damn good. It was beautiful. Um, worst player of the game, Lucas Sutter again. Taking bad penalties. I really didn't contribute anything offensively. I and mean, yeah, one could make a case for uh, you know, a couple players, but Sutter Sutter in my opinion looks more like the third round pick than the second round pick. Kosmachuk looks more like the second round pick than the third round pick. Okay. Um so some random thoughts. Uh, first of all, that was a really, really stupid and reckless hit by Joshua Morrissey on Jackson Hook behind the net that earned him an ejection. You can't be doing that. I mean, obviously, he's only 18 years old, so this could be... This is a learning experience. Isn't that what, you know, these rookie tournaments are all about? It's about learning and seeing how you work together with other players... You know, that are your age, basically. Um, what else? Axel Bloomquist has to be my runner-up for player of the game. He was very, very good. Couple of goals. Played hard. Nick Patan was also up there. Eric Comrie. All I have to say... If Pavlik can't improve within the next couple of years, Comrie will steal his number one job if he keeps playing like he did tonight. He was terrific when the Oilers were trying to shift momentum in their favor in the second period. Comrie stood up to the task and stopped every one of their shots. 36 of 38 saves, including some, or 36 out of 38 shots stopped. And there were a couple of complete robberies, including a couple kick including one particular kick save on a deflection in front. Um, what else? You got to see some guys that didn't play the first game. John Dupuis and Yasin Sisi, Zach Bell. Um, overall, none of them really impressed me. I think Bell was probably the best of the three. Sisi honestly looked surprisingly good. I mean... I still think Bell played better, particularly because he, I believe he got penalty-killing minutes. But see, see, he, he just needs, if he's ever going to even come close to cracking the NHL, he needs to work on his skating. Jeez, he is not a very good skater. <sighs> what else? Comrie is kind of good. <laughs> I think that's been said already. Uh, so the next Jets game is on Monday afternoon against the Canucks, the final game of the Young Stars tournament. Um, can they go unbeaten? Last time, the Oilers were the only team that beat them. 
back in 2011. They beat the Sharks 4 nothing. They beat the Canucks 2 nothing, But they lost 2 to nothing to the Oilers. So, after that, it's a five-day layoff until the preseason opener in Belleville. But honestly, I've been impressed with the team throughout this rookie tournament. They've been scoring a lot, 11 goals in two games. Yeah, that's quite a lot. Um, the defense was really sloppy tonight. I think they need to work on that. Um, especially after Morrissey went off and they had to start double-shifting people, and it was just a mess. Because, well... Morrissey was their number two defenseman. He was playing with Truba. And then, you know, he gets kicked out of the game for doing something stupid. I don't know. It's just a learning experience for him. So anyways, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Rate? They got rid of that years ago. <laughs> that was a derp. If I had a blooper reel, I would put that on there. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Do all that good stuff, and uh, I'll see you Monday. Hopefully not absolutely tired at 1 a.m. Because if it's still going at 1 a.m., that might be the longest game ever. No, it wouldn't have to be. Might have, would have to be the longest game. But anyways, until then, see ya, and go Jets.